Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2014 NFL Draft Needs Analysis, and this video is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the Buccaneers will have the seventh pick overall in the first round. Uh, remember, they're going through a complete regime change now. Yesterday, they fired GM Mark Dominic and head coach Greg Schiano. So a lot of how uh, this new regime views the current roster will probably determine where they focus, not only in the first round of the draft, but in later rounds. Um, and I'm going under the assumption that they're going to give Mike Lennon at least one more season to prove he can be the franchise guy. I was encouraged from what I saw from Mike Lennon this year. But uh, some other needs that I think Tampa Bay needs to absolutely fill in this draft, I think they are in serious need of an edge pass rusher. I know a lot of teams are, but especially Tampa, because if you look at this defense with Gerald McCoy at defensive tackle, uh, one of, if not the best defensive tackle in the league, you look at the season Levante David had leading a pretty strong linebacking core, and then you look at the back end with guys like Mark Barron, Darrell Revis, and Deshaun Goldson, who you figure um, will have a better season next year, and you throw in Jonathan Banks, who you drafted last year, and you know... From defensive tackle to the linebackers to the secondary, that defense is really is really good in my opinion. They played like it at a lot of points this season. And I think if you can get a pass rushing defensive end to go along with that strong defensive tackle play that this team has, this is a defense that can turn around very quickly. Um, obviously, that depends a lot on the coaching staff and their philosophy. But, I mean, if you get a guy coming in there that's going to you know play a 4-3, uh, I think they can do very well right from the get-go here with this team. So defensive end, a pass rusher, my number one need here for the Buccaneers. Uh, their second need in my eyes is an offensive tackle to go opposite DeMar Dotson. Uh, Dotson, definitely a strength of their offensive line. Uh, but if they, again, if they can get another guy to go opposite Dotson, limit some of the pressure that was put on Mike Lennon from that non-Dotson side this year, you get Doug Martin back next year. And again, it could be an offense that can run the ball better and thus give Mike Lennon uh, more of a consistent chance at success. Glennon showed flashes this year, but then he had some games that weren't so good. And when the pressure was on him, uh, like normal rookie quarterbacks, is when he began to falter. So if they, they can sure up uh, that offensive tackle spot opposite Dotson would be something they should explore as well. And also the tight end position. I mean, again, how does the new coaching staff view Tim Wright? Tim Wright was a very reliable target for Mike Lennon this year in his development, as were other guys, you know, as was obviously Vincent Jackson. But Tim Wright had a had a, a, a for a tight end a large percentage of the targets, especially later in the year, for Mike Lennon. He's a Rutgers guy, though, one of several Rutgers guys on this roster. How does the new coaching staff and regime view a guy like Tim Wright? If they don't think he's the answer, then I think a tight end is always a good idea a pass-catching tight end for a young quarterback in his development. I'm not saying first round or maybe even the second round spend on a tight end, but eventually in the mid to late rounds get one of these guys that's more a, you know, a pass-catching type of tight end um, to come in there and contribute uh, for the Buccaneers. I mean, if you look at outside of those positions, I think those are by far the biggest glaring areas of deed for this team. And I think that that pass rusher, uh, coming off the edge should be where they focus here um, in the early rounds. I, I would I would say even round one as well. Um, that to me is their is their biggest glaring need at this point. Guys, let me know what you think. Again, my three biggest needs for the Buccaneers: pass rushing, uh, edge rusher, an offensive tackle, and also um, a tight end if they decide not to go forward uh, with Tim Wright as the feature tight end. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing this needs analysis for all 32 teams. Okay, I have seven of them down as of now. I'm doing all kinds of draft coverage, playoff coverage, and NFL offseason stuff too. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.